Hi, my name is Carolyn. I'm from Golden Fluid Art. And uh, today I want to talk to you about getting high enough quality images of artwork that's already been resined or has a high gloss surface um, so that you can use those images for print on demand. Um, I have tried a lot of different techniques that I've found on YouTube and asked around and um, it is really hard to get good quality images of your art um, <laughs> and affordable. Um, so I ended up, um, like I've tried getting a light box, I've tried using outside lighting, I've tried um, buying lights. Um, and no matter what I did, I'd always end up getting um, glare that just got in the way of the quality of the photos. Needing to balance the light, the camera, and the artwork is a nightmare. So I ended up deciding that I wanted to um, seek out a professional photographer, and I called around a lot of places. Unfortunately, I live in a small town, which, while I love that, um, it does mean that I don't have very many options. Uh, so I have had to try, um, I was calling places up in Portland and most photographers basically told me that they didn't really do that kind of photography and um, that they couldn't really help me essentially. And then I found one photographer who I'll put a link down below um, who he basically told me that when I like when I called him, he basically said that he was going on holidays and he wouldn't be back and he wouldn't have any time to take photos for me for a really long time. And he said, you know what, if I was to, if you were to come up here and bring all your artwork, essentially what I'd be doing is I'd be taking your artwork and putting it on my scanner if it's small enough. Um, because a scanner has a really um, controlled lighting and um, so it knows it can sort out colors and stuff like that better than a camera that you're trying to use in an unknown space with complex lighting. Um, so yeah, so he recommended that I actually just go down to my local print shop and ask them if they have a high quality scanner. So once I found a print shop that had a high resolution scanner, um, I just called them up and um, so for one scan, I can get, I don't know, depends on, depends on the shape and size, but I can get six to nine, sometimes even more pieces in one scan, um, which is way cheaper than paying a professional photographer to take photos of each one. Um, so it's much more cost effective and it gets really good quality photos. Um, there's a couple of tricks though. Uh, so one of them is you need to request that you want it in an image file and not PDF because the default is PDF and that's what they will probably give you by default. Um, I use JPEG files and, and that worked really good. Um, so I could then take those images and then go home and edit the photos and I will be making a, um, I will be making a video next week about editing the photos, how to do that, uh, to bring the colors back up because the scan, it, the photos tend to come out a bit milky um, and not quite as vibrant as the original piece. So yeah, I'll show you how to edit uh, the photos to bring them back up to that level of color and vibrancy. Um, that you have and contrast that you have in the original piece. Another little tip I definitely recommend is make sure you wipe down the scanner and the pieces before you take each, um, each scan because any piece of dust or any particle um, if you've corked the back of them, sometimes little bits of cork come off. Uh, any piece that's between the, the scanner and your image is going to come up in the photo and you're going to be able to see it because it's really high resolution. So the more you wipe things down first, the better your outcome's going to be and the less editing you're going to have to do to remove all of those little 
the imperfections and things that are taking away from your art that you probably don't want to have a hair on your artwork on a print on demand item um, people would probably complain <laughs> so yeah thanks for thanks for being here and listening I hope this was helpful to everyone um, it's definitely been a game changer for me it's increased the quality of my art images that I've been using and really enabled me to start on that print on demand journey that is so essential for artists to be able to actually make a livable income off making art. Um, please like and subscribe and share with your friends if you found this useful. Um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching.